guys, this is James Hughes, and I'm here today to talk to you about turning your pictures into a slideshow video. So many of you will have pictures that you're wanting to do something with here at the end of the year, especially during this distance learning time, and wanting to get to share something special with your classes. You can do that very easily through ReVideo, and I'll show you how. So once you log in, you're going to create a new video, and we're going to select what folder it's in. Now you'll start with all of your traditional stuff. Your audio will go right here so you can go to your stock media, select audio, choose whatever audio you want and go ahead and input it in there. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is this bottom line. Remember what's on bottom is on bottom, what's on top is on top. I'm going to want to put a solid background, just something just standard you can do whatever color you want but I want to make sure that I have a solid background so I don't have a lot of distracting things going on and now right here I'm gonna have my different pictures so I'm gonna label this and I'm gonna add in a couple more video lines this one is going to be my bottom right this one I'm going to toggle my upper left and then one last one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have four different images going on at different times and I'm going to transition them differently. So what you'll need to do is make sure you have all of your media in uh, already uploaded, whether it's from your mobile device or whatever. And then once you do that, you're going to want to probably shrink these to where you can see as much of your timeline as possible. So you're going to shrink each of your feeds here. And once you have that set, you're going to then begin with positioning your pictures and for, uh, moving them in and out. So I'm going to start right now. I'm going to put this image after I get all my intro stuff in I'm gonna put my first image down here now once I have it I want to reposition it I'm going to double click go into the editing right here I'm gonna come right on these three lines I'm gonna click this button and now I've got a box where I can click on and resize my image. I can put a grid in here so that I know that my image will always fit in a certain grid. That way I'm not overlapping other pictures. Okay, can snap to it if I want, but for right now I think my grid's going to help. So I have this here. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm gonna come in to this icon. I'm gonna click on fade my edit settings, and then I'm gonna fade in. I traditionally don't like a full one second fade, it just takes too long for me. So I'm gonna do half a second fade in, and then half a second fade out. So it'll be nice and smooth as it fades in and out. All right, from there, I want to, this image, I'm gonna click and drag in, because ultimately, I, I want everyone to get to enjoy their picture. So I'm gonna put this particular one in for 10 seconds. Next, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna offset my image. Okay, now I've got my second image in here. What I wanna do is I'm going to extend it. I want to leave all these about 10 seconds. So those that are watching at home with a stopwatch, they get their full share. So now I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna show my grid. Oh, before that, I've got to change and resize, and I'm going to reshape. So this one, I believe, was in my bottom right quadrant. So I'll have this going on in here. I want to fade. I believe I was doing it for half a second. So I'll do half a second on my fade in and out. Now I'm going to come to my next picture. Again, kind of stopping starting about every three or four seconds. I'm gonna extend it for 10 seconds. I'm going to 
Go ahead, since it popped up here, fade. I'm gonna change to five, uh, half a second. You can always leave this at just a full second. It'll save you time for having to change these. Just click the box for fade. Come over here, change my image, show my grid. I think I'm in the upper left right now. So I'm gonna resize this. It'll fit into my grid. So I know, again, I'm not overlapping. Save my changes. Come on to my next picture. So again, I'm doing about every 10 seconds. Come here, resize it, show my grid. Shrink and slide and shrink a little bit more to make sure it fits. Because again, whatever's on top is on top, whatever's on bottom is on bottom. I'll fade and then I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now I've got these going on. And so now I may have to change my timing a little bit because my Baylor logo is going off at the same time my Castle logo is coming in. So I may need to change that a little bit so it's not always fully distracting. Um, but what I can do is after a three second delay, I can come in here, drag this for 10 seconds, and do that. So I've got that image, click this, drag it for another 10. So you have that option to do so if you want. Again, make sure I'm gonna just click my fade, reposition, show my grid, click and drag. Remember what's on top's on top. So that's why if you see this, if I turn off my grid, these pictures, their timeline is on top of this one. That's why you see them over the top of that picture. And that's why our grid is so helpful for us right now. Reposition to fit that one in. Save changes. All right, so we just keep doing this over and over and over until we are set with where we want and where we need to go for this particular video. Okay, fade it. Now, this, we'll start over again. This is pretty much how it's going to look for you. As it goes in and out. Now, how we have it set up right now, there's a gap right here when this picture comes in. And so we'll always kind of have three pictures coming up roughly at the same time. It's just, again, it's all about how you position it. One final thing you could do if you did not want to fade in and out, you did not want those gaps, you just kind of want to use your screen the whole time, you still have your transitions where you could do a crossfade, where it kind of fades from one to the next. So it's more of a smooth connection. I'll show you what that looks like. So we have each of our logos, and then now when we watch our Baylor, it's gonna fade into the next one. Part of that's messed up because I already had a fade set into that. But you kind of have the idea. So here's how you can do a slideshow. You can have multiple layers showing multiple pictures on your screen at the same time. Instead of having a 20 minute slideshow, you can cut that down to a five minute slideshow because you're showing all those pictures kind of simultaneously. So. If you have questions, please let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks, Robinson.